Yeah, um, I think we fought and fought and fought and never gave up. Um, for our first trip here, you know, that's remarkable to come down and play some different teams from different areas of the state. And so we knew Burlington was going to be tough. Um, but we're, I'm just so proud of our team and being able to fight as hard as they can every point because that's what we work on all year long. So a successful season, absolutely, and so proud of our team. Thank you. Let's start right here, Jason. Um, Friday or Saturday night against River Falls, you guys were able to kind of work through some some serving mistakes, and uh, obviously tonight just you know a few too many mistakes on either serve receive or serving yourself. It seemed like. Yeah, well, I mean that's the name of the game, serve and pass, right? Um, and so I I haven't had a chance to look at the stats yet, but I'm fairly certain Burlington probably outserved and outpassed us. So um, for us to hang in there and fight as hard as we did, even with our serving troubles and our passing troubles at time, I was really proud of us. Now, uh, when looking back at, uh, I mean, the last two uh, in sectionals, like it seems like uh, over the last three matches, you've gone, guys have gone through five sets. Like, uh, just describe the resilience, and uh, I mean, was that just describe your team's resilience against a team like Burlington, especially after two hard-fought games in sectionals? Yeah, um, you know, it's what we preach every single day. We talk about hard work. We talk about resilience, we talk about mental toughness, and there's no other stage that magnifies that than when you're in the playoffs. So I think that we, I had my team fight incredibly hard through two five-set matches and then push it to a five-set match again. There are not many teams who can take a, uh, a, a beating at state in uh, that set that we did and still come out and be able to push. And so I, I am just so proud of our team because the purpose of high school sports, again, is to learn life lessons. And uh, hard work and resiliency are definitely things they're going to need once they finish high school. So, so proud of them for showing that again today. For the girls, I mean, the journey to get here, obviously some hard fought matches, but in the end to find, be the first team to get to state in Chippewa Falls history, it's, that alone has to be a huge accomplishment. Um, I just think it was like an amazing experience and we all fought really hard like Luke said and I couldn't be more proud of this team and I said it before the winner lose we gave it our all and it was it was quite a ride yeah I'm so proud to be part of the team and we fought every single game honestly it just came down to pursuit of the ball like keeping anything off the ground fighting through even when we're losing fighting to come back just games like that I also just want it to be known like the crowd we had in Hudson, and then we had an enormous crowd at Eau Claire North, and then we had an enormous crowd here tonight again in Green Bay. Like These athletes are not only outstanding volleyball players, but they're outstanding people, and our whole school community just wanted to come here and support them and you know, be able to live in this outstanding moment. So it's a wonderful testament not only to our team as volleyball players, but also who they are as young women. Was there anything particularly difficult about Burlington that really uh, got you guys off balance? Like, was there any particular player or was there any particular uh, type of uh, scheme that really was difficult for you to defend against? Yeah, um, I think it's no secret that we probably are the shortest team here at the state tournament in Division One. So uh, both their middles were big, which we've had to work around before, but that always tends to give us a little more of an issue, and they served rockets across the net. They served really, really well tonight, Burlington did. So um, really made us challenge, or challenged us in serve-receive. So um, they played outstanding. Burlington's a great team, and we wish them luck moving forward. Uh, for the players, um, I noticed when you guys got here, you were really taking in the venue, I guess. Once kind of the, the ball started flying and you were warming up and going, I mean, was there any point where it, it kind of did feel kind of a little bit normal for you know being your first time here? Yeah, I think for me personally, it just felt like, like you said, normal. I would say we kind of settled in and we kind of took account that we know this place is big, but I think we once we like took a couple balls and we passed a couple that we could um, tune in and play well. Yeah, and um, like we come and play like, yeah, it's like state and like super like big and cool, but like we come and play, doesn't matter where it is, we're going to give our all.